Hello everyone, this is Christy with CES Art Evolution Lab, and today I wanted to give you the story behind one of my paintings. This painting is called, I Have Hope That Peace Will Fly Again. I originally made the painting in 2022-2023 when I finally decided to come off of the art journal, or I should say out of the art journal and onto the canvas. I had a lot of debating about how I wanted to show this. I tried doing it on the easel. I thought maybe this was the easiest way to explain things. But if I get a much larger canvas, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it this way and I may need some different camera equipment. So anyway, moving to this painting. This is again called, I Have Hope That Peace Will Fly Again. This is part of the Weird Voices series. The way that this series works for me is that I start off by making an abstract background, usually with leftover paint. And then when I start to see characters in the background, I outline them with pencil and begin drawing and filling in those figures. Eventually I work in layers of paint, sometimes fabric, and I flesh out those characters and make them real. Using this method, which is very similar to reverse coloring, allows me to analyze anything that I'm thinking of. Um, it can reflect on my mental health state at the time. It can reflect upon thoughts that I'm having about the world around me, things like that. So in this particular painting, I started off with the background that you see here. It's barely visible here. You can see it a little bit in the clothing for the characters here. You can see it a little bit in her neck and in her sweater. There's not much left of the original background, but the paint colors that I chose for the palette on that background, and it was just scraping paint around using a palette knife, those colors from that palette were pulled up throughout the canvas and used again and again. So the same basic palette the entire time. Basically, I used the purple, I had a metallic shade of purple, I had magenta, I had uh, orange, shades of yellow, a little bit of green. These were all colors that were used repetitively in the background and then pulled up to the canvas. Now the concept of this painting, originally I thought that the character was me. And in a lot of ways maybe it is. Almost everything that I do, whether it's a figure that has a masculine feel or a feminine feel, is some sort of a image into my mind. It's some sort of aspect of my mind or of a feeling, and it's made concrete here on the canvas. I initially saw this weird bird, the figure's face here, and these three figures here. I ended up making her more whole, drawing out a larger image of her, and then adding her arm and hand in. And the process that I used was one, it was an art challenge that I saw. It was to spend 30 days with a canvas. And the concept was that each day you do one thing and that's it and you stop. And then the next day you do another thing and you spend maybe 10 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour each day doing one thing, one process, one technique. So for example, day one, I scraped the background. Uh, day two, I came in and started drawing out the characters. Day three, I began blocking out the characters using the white paint in the background and also using bits of orange. After doing that, then I started adding in detail to the characters. Some days I would work just on the hand and the arm, some days on the face. One day, actually several days were spent on Peace Bird herself. And over the course of 30 days, the idea was that you would then analyze your process, think about what you did, did you add more detail, that sort of thing. It's a process that I want to do again, and I wish I had documented it, but back then I wasn't thinking about documenting it for a YouTube video. I was just trying to gain confidence in myself from going again from the art journal to the canvas. So it started in 2022-ish, and it finished officially in 2023. So when I counted it finished. At least that's when I posted it. Anyway, going back to the story. So you have this character here, and I have named her Love. That is the emotion that she represents. She represents love and caring, and this is symbolic and a cliche sort of symbol, the heart, which she wears as a locket around her neck. 
She is looking at her hand in surprise, almost in fear. This bird, this bird called Peace Bird, she's kept peace in her hands safe. And this fledgling bird has leapt out of her hands bravely. Now, when you look at Peace Bird, you see that she's kind of colorful, but she's also a bit serious. There is, by the way, a little bit of the original background in her hair. But what we also notice about Peace Bird is that her wings are not fully developed. She is a fledgling. She may not be able to fly. And that's part of this. It's part of her fear is that she has this extreme hope that Peace will be able to fly again. And what you see down here, you have two figures that are arguing. One seems to be a bit more masculine and one a little bit more feminine. And then you have this child who looks both like a child and both like an older person. Um, they're looking on with a little bit of fear and trepidation at the whole situation, not sure what's going to happen. So Peace Bird is leaping towards them. I made this painting during a time when I was thinking a lot about the conflicts that were going on worldwide and some that continue to go on to this day. And I guess it was my manifestation of my hopes and my fears for how things would be. I do want to do a full series with Peace Bird. I really like what I did there, and I have some ideas for some textile sculptural art that I want to try. I want to make her into an art doll, possibly make her a nest, make other fledgling little Peace Birds, maybe even work with sculpture as well with clay. I have more ideas. Again, you'll hear this in many of my videos. I have more ideas than I have time for. And that is the story of this painting. I have hope that peace will fly again. You can see more of my work from the Weird Voices series on my website, cesartevolutionlab.com. I'm going to leave you with a few close-ups of different parts of the painting. I hope that you enjoyed the story behind the painting and thank you for watching.